Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. William, hey. Yeah. Hey, I don't like the fact that there's a there's a middle-aged man going after chasing a 14-year-old girl in a costume this episode. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, that was the thing for me, too. This guy is just like, I don't, like, I guess he's comic with, oh, my God. He's just like. What a bad comic. Well, so I understand this is the 90s, all right? And back then, it was even probably more lax. Is it? Yeah, this episode was, was, in the, was, was aired in, like, 1990. Oh, I thought it was, like, 19, the 80s or what? something. 1989. No, it was like 1989, 1990. Oh, jeez, man. That's that's kind of even yeah, worse. Yeah, I, I don't understand this guy's character. I don't... I don't know what he's supposed to serve in, in the within the series. You told me a spoiler about how he apparently only appears like like seven episodes, but within these few episodes that he has appeared in, mm -hmm. I don't understand his purpose. I don't I know, legit... man. I really don't know. Like, it doesn't help that he probably just disappears throughout the rest of the mid-season, right? According to according to the fact that he only appears in seven episodes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just he's such a limited character. and he's, Oh, God, he's just shown up in the worst way, dude. Yeah, and he does the worst thing. He's literally chasing a 14-year-old girl in this episode <sighs> in a costume. Also, like, he has nothing. I don't like the fact that the grandfather sent a 14-year-old girl and her 9-year-old brother to go fight adults, right, you know, also, inside the river. Also, yeah, the, 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 the siblings also kind of really pissed me off this episode, but that's just more a piece of they were just dickheads. Hey, I, I'm also pissed by the grandfather who says, like, oh, boy, they stole our wooden board. It's too bad we don't have a Home Depot. We can go down to the street to it and ask, like, ask the Home Depot, hey, can you write Dojo on a side for us? I mean, right? well, I mean at, least, at least in that, it's like, I understand the symbolism of it, but good lord, man, it's just like... It's just like you just send like, like okay. So I understand him sending his daughter if uh, if she was trained, right? And she is, right? So yeah. that's fine or whatever. But then there's also the fact that like, do you send the child like the the younger brother too? Yeah. I was uh -huh. like, why would you do that? That's just like I doubt this kid could do much of anything like at all. <laughs> No, really I'm thinking, like, do. the worst part is this board isn't a MacGuffin device when in the general series, right? Yeah. It's not like the other half of the stupid uh, stone tablet that's the MacGuffin device of this series, yeah. right? Like, this board literally is only there for, like, sentimental values. And even then, you're like, am I really going to send a 14-year-old girl and her 10-year-old brother to get for me, right? Yeah, it's really, it's really like uh, you do like work. Like there are better uh, things. Oh, like pick your. I was like pick your things, you know, right? Hey, should we spend our time protecting the mystical object of that of access to unlimited power, or this board that we can go to Home Depot to get replaced, right? Yeah, it's just like I mean, honestly, like I mean, like. <sighs> There were like, like there are like better this things. Episode like, would have been more better and impactful if it was the stupid MacGuffin device that we established throughout the season, you know, right? Instead of yeah. this fucking random ass board that hangs in front of the dojo. Yeah, right? I mean, it was like if it was something important, like it's just like we don't even establish that the board is important, right? We just said this board just hang in front of the school and that was it. Yeah, honestly, and it's just like, I mean, there were, like, there, again, I'll, I'll, I've been trying to say, there are better things that you can risk lives on, and it's not that. It is not that at all. Yeah, it's not the stupid board. <laughs> Jeez, I was like, I'm just going to believe it. I was like, I'm going to feel... God. Like, and I was like, yeah, it's going to send my, my daughter to, to give send my 14-year-old uh, grandchild to go, to go fight and get for me. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty okay. bad. Um, also... Hey, we... Wim. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. you go first. Okay, but you know what isn't bad? There you go. Yeah, that's all I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We gotta go with the bed. Okay, fine, fine. The bed. What isn't bad, Austin? <laughs> what hey, isn't bad? Hey, our non-weekly discussion series about Senkai 
Senkai Ninja Senjiraiya, a non-weekly discussion series where I also had a personal years of knowledge of, of Tokusatsu and Jiraiya, yep, and yep. joined every week by my friend William, that as you would, a person with no knowledge of Jiraiya, as we discuss the non-latest Metal Hero series, Senkai Ninja Senjiraiya. Hey, welcome to episode 4, Break, the the Magic of Fire Ninja Chung Kung Fu. That is the name of this episode according to Wikipedia, and that is what I'm going with. So, William, I did some math this episode, yeah. okay? So, this episode opens up with to, to, Tora. Tora? Tora, is, yeah. Uh, his, to, Tora, right? Toha, Toha. Doing, Tora, doing work. Yeah. He's making making 600 yen an hour, all right? Mm -hmm. Wait, how would you try to guess how much is 600 yen an hour? Uh, all right? Like, six bucks, right? Six bucks, right? Because the general rule is that one USD equals 100 yen. Give or take a different conversion of the market, right? Like sometimes it could be 90 yen or 120 yen, but the general rule is 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 one one USD equals 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 100 yen. So this guy is making six dollars an hour, all right? Yeah. Which is pretty bad by itself, right? I mean, yeah, it's not right? a lot so, to live on in the, in the 1990s either. It's just yeah. it's kind of bad. So so I did some math, all right? So so as I stated earlier, this episode aired. This series takes place in 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 1990s, all right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I went to an inflation calculator to check uh -huh. to see how much making 600 yen an hour in 1989 would equal in 2021. I want you to take a guess to see how much uh, the, the, the I mean, take a guess. If, if the economy was technically better back in the day, maybe it's like. I don't know. Maybe it may, maybe at most maybe it's it's like I don't know twelve dollars. I'll say. So you're so you're thinking twelve hundred yen an hour, right? Yeah. Seven hundred twenty yen in twenty twenty one. Wait. So it's bit. Wait. Wait. This guy is not making anything. This is not a livable wage at all, right? No, I actually went out of my way to act to went to I went I actually went online to an inflation calculator website, did the math to see how much oh this guy would be making God. in today's society. This man is being taking like he is being taking advantage of left and right in the show. Good God, man! Like this, he just, he needs to like he gets taken advantage of from his family, and now he's getting taken advantage from from the from the the working industry. <laughs> oh, I I was like I was very really because because I thought it was just inflation. I was like, oh, okay, six hundred yen back in now. Okay, that's a, like it, like that would be pretty bad. I'm pretty sure that would equal to like actual. Um, livable wages and within within 2021. Nope, it's just that worse. So, so I'm not a knowledge on Japanese um la labor industry, right? Even though I claim to be the foremost expert of every subject, right? Yeah. But I'm not an expert on Japanese labor, so I don't know. Here's the thing: I don't know if 600 yen is a good price. It's a good hour uh, a knot in Japan. Yeah. Oh my god. That's... Hold on. Let's Japan's minimum wage. Uh, eight dollars an hour apparently. That's the min minimum wage in Japan. Jesus, they have a tough. Apparently, don't they? Jesus Christ. So, so I even so, and this is in 2020, 2021, I guess. That's fucking oh. rough, dude. That... So technically, he was actually actually making the making making subpar minimum wage, right? If, if we if we count if we go back to the fact that six hundred yen equals seven hundred twenty yen in twenty twenty one, he was pretty much almost working minimum wage. Oh my god, dude, that's I don't uh, fucking Japan. I thought Japan would be better, but I guess not. But hey, 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 hey look, well, hey, you can pick. You can either pick competently written female characters or minimum wage. All right, you can't get both. That's the that's the that's the that's the, that's the choice that you had. All right, that's what they right when you right. That's the that's the industry choice. All right, uh, uh, that's what they talk about. That's also what kind of annoyed me about this episode is that the fact that despite she's trained and shit, and she can do shit too. It's just like she gets caught anyway. Uh -huh. Doesn't even bother like trying to escape. Ugh, God, I don't know. Yeah. So basically, uh, Toha's working in like some fucking mall at night and being a custodian, I think. Yeah. I think that's where he is. Yeah, he's so being he a custodian. Yeah, and then 
the place gets robbed right right he's working oh, yeah right? by the two by the by the tengu birds i don't know if these characters have a name but they keep but or at least according to these uh to these subtitles we're using uh which i'm not gonna say is official or unofficial to the audience member you know because mm-hmm. these episodes are free or as of this moment officially uploaded on the toei zero tokusatsu channel all right hey go support toei tokusatsu before they take down your fan subs of your <laughs> favorite common writer and super sentai series you know just forcing uh, a, a, a decade-long a decade-long subgroup to go under oh my god dude um oh shit um so yeah, so birds come in and mm-hmm. steal jewels. They they steal the jewels and everything. Like, oh, they're like, oh, we got the jewels and everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They they get the jewels and shit, but then you know he's he's fighting to stop them, and then um in the middle that mm-hmm. he gets intercepted by the the other world ninja, right? Yeah, also, it's the morning. Did you thought it was the morning? No, I didn't actually. I thought it was like nighttime because of how dark yeah, like, this Yeah, because we opened with him in like in like the in like this dark ass mall cleaning. So I think so. I thought he was working at night because that's usually when a custodian or a janitor, right, would, would like would like clean the mall like this, right? Yeah, because like, I like, mean, I mean, I get like because the thing is, you would typically clean it at night. Then you would, I would assume, leave it alone, uh, so that mm-hmm. you know it's just clean in the morning. You don't have to get up and early and just clean shit up. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's probably the middle of the day. Yeah, I don't. I was so oh fucking God. confused by the scenery change. I was like, it, it's, I was, I, I was like, there was no indication of this thing whatsoever. Yeah, it really doesn't help the fact that like the, because it's dark. Like you only see like a place like that closed in the middle like of like the night. Yeah, especially a mall. What mall would be closed in the middle of the day? For, yeah, like in right? the morning they would have they would be open and, like either get people like yeah. getting to Wait, work only like, two things that stops a, that only stops a mall from being closed in the middle of the day all right oh. poor 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 management and and a pandemic all right it's one or the <laughs> other that's whatever that's the only thing that would ever close a mall hold on there's actually a third thing that would close a mall oh, in what? the middle of the day you uh-huh. know what, what that is, that? is what is that the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. <laughs> hey, welcome no. back to day three of the de- of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in 2021. It's beautiful August, all right. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot that was the narrative. I forgot that was the narrative we established. Uh, yeah, we did establish that, didn't we? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not a great day, you know. Yesterday was a great day. I look forward to the events today. Great events yesterday from all the participating. I enjoyed the score. I hated that score. Did not agree with the judge on, on that particular score. <laughs> really felt that country should have got a better score by the judges, you know. God. You, th- you know, it is a surprise, though, that they decided to do, um, they included a new a new event, you know. Like a, That's where I love that new event, you know. Yeah, right. That, 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 Still that, unsure about how the scoring system works with with said event, you know, right? Look, as long as you don't throw up, you're fine. That's how it goes, okay? Oh, that's right. That's yeah. That's the rule for that event, you know. Yeah, that's and, what they put at the bottom ticket after, <laughs> after, after for the screen for the ticket. <laughs> Oh By the way, for, for the general audience member who did not know media terms, a ticket is, is what they call the scrolling words at the bottom of the screen as it scrolls by in text. That's a, that's a fun media fact, all right? You learn something at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics every day. Oh, my God. But, you know... <laughs> Yeah, so so so, so yeah, so Toha go goes to fucking... goes to a shrine, he fights the bird and everything, but but then but then uh oh fire oh, no, comes out a... and Oh you know, Bell Bell Shrine. I mean it's more Bell yeah. than Shrine. But hey, yeah, who, who's, but who? but then but then we then we get nineteen nineteen nineties uh special effects, right? And, and so I, I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna rag on this because it's nineteen nineties and they're still trying to figure out what to do. But it's but, pretty, but it's pretty, it's pretty hilarious how bad this shit is. Yeah, right? I mean you can tell it's just like they had a fire like in front, like oh god, and it's just like it's. It's really old school, you know. It's fake and shit. And then you know they try to make it look real by like having the fire in front of the guy while he's like acting mm. out being like tortured and shit. You know. Yeah. Right. And then you just overlay. You just do like an overlay screen change of faded for the character for or for Chung Kung Fu. By the way, William, am I supposed to be racially offended by this name? Real quick. Uh huh. Am I supposed to be offended by by this name? What's the name? 
Oh yeah. Uh, Chung Kung Fu, the, the 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 ninja from Hong Kong. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um. Right. Should I be? Should it's I be the offended 90s. by this name? It's the nineties. Oh, okay. I forgot the nineties where racism was cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly what I was going with. <laughs> okay. Hey, put that on your tombstone, William, all right? Oh, uh, hey. Uh, no, that's not. I don't want that at all. It's like, it's, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fucking. Anyway, so, um. But, yeah, I guess he, like, with the fire, he destroyed his spirit or whatever, right? But he's like, I mean, mm-hmm. well, I should go to the next scene. Like, he tosses him in the. He tosses him at the, at the um. What's the word I'm looking for? He he tosses him at the mirror, the the gate of the the dojo, right? That they. This oh, word. you're that far ahead. Oh, I'm so I'm so at the part where he where Chung Kung Fu comes out, right? And oh, the fact right, that he I just straight up mm-hmm. kicks a dog. Holy shit! Yeah, I forgot about the dog. <laughs> I forgot about the dog. It's, I was like, holy fuck! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, what an intense scene! Wild. Out of nowhere! It's just like oh, it kicks my. the dog. I'm like, I'm glad to have saved the dog. But good God! <laughs> like, what? The master would have kicked the that dog. Scene, like, that scene is such a fucking weird indication. It's, oh, I just gotta, like, it just comes out of nowhere unnaturally, right? Yeah. The worst part, you can see the dog struggling to enter frame, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Like, like, you see its head, like, you see it stop before it moves, before he gets kicked, and it's just so fucking insane how it happens. Yeah, I know. It's just fucking wild. <laughs> it comes out of nowhere. It just, like, Oh fuck! <laughs> it's just, I can't get over the so, dog. He's can't get over that. I just straight up kicked like, the, the dog. The, the thing is, though, like you know, in the second shot, it's a fake dog. But because of how yeah, quickly it for- is, it's just like mm-hmm. it, I thought. Like for how quick it was, I legit thought it was an actual dog for like the hottest second. I'm like, oh shit, he kicked yeah. the dog. I'm like, oh no, that's not a real dog. I forgot. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. There's a lot of fucking animals that just gets kicked or end the show like i think it was like episode two we had to throw a monkey across the screen or some shit right we never oh, and we remember that it's been a bit for episode two so i don't oh, yeah, you're right you're right because we did record episode two before we actually started the series for no reason yeah, yeah in episode two there was a monkey that was uh, that grabbed that grabbed the thing and then they just threw the monkey across the screen oh god was that what happened fucking hell yeah yeah so yeah oh, so then god. chung kung fu Burns up his fighting spirit, I guess. I guess he literally, he literally burns up Toha's fighting spirit, right? Yeah, he really does. It's just like, oh, oh shit, all right. I guess that's just, I guess that's just how it's going to be then. Fucking, yeah. uh, look, just destroys the spirit and that's that. <laughs> It's just fucking casual mm-hmm. about it, too. Yeah, so, yeah. So then they throw back Toho in front of the signs. And, and the worst is that grandfather comes out and he sees them taking the sign and everything. And he just doesn't stop them. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's this, there's this thing later on that happens, too. But, like, he legit just kind of watches it happen. And then it's just like, okay. It's like, oh, man, what are you guys, you guys stealing my sign? What's up with that? Like, he just doesn't stop them. Yeah, he's just really casual about it. He just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. Jesus, dude. Like, he can stop them. He doesn't doesn't, doesn't stop them. But, then, but don't worry. Chung Kung Fu comes, enters the scene through a pretty, through a, through a, just a fade-in. Just through a fade-in effect and everything. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, uh, he just kind of comes in and is, uh, uh sorry, what was, fuck no, no, I forgot. I forgot the word. I forgot the word. I lost the word. Gate dojo. Yeah. Kung fu. <laughs> r- r- racial stereotype. Okay. Uh, let me know okay. if I'm getting close. <laughs> you're t- you're tossing all these words. I don't think you, I don't think you know. <laughs> it's not exactly helpful. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. To- uh, let's see. 2020 Tokyo Olympics. <laughs> Pfft, no. Am I getting close? <laughs> no, you're not getting close at all. I don't know where you're trying to get out of here. <laughs> Oh god! Oh wait, sorry. What were we talking about again? Shit. Oh Fuck. yeah. Oh yeah. So, so yeah. So so basically, Toho loses his fighting spirit. Loses his fighting spirit, and the grandfather's like, "Oh no! Well, was it apparently like some mystical art that that robbed him of of his of his yeah of his he, fighting he spirit?" Yeah, he just kind of says the three illnesses, right? The th- weird mm-hmm. three yeah. illnesses. Yeah. So then we cut to possibly the worst character in the show <sighs> yeah. of this of of I don't know. I think his name is Harry Henry Winkler. 
rink, wink. Yeah, who gives a shit, man? This is fucking... Yeah. We're just calling the, the problem, creep. No, no, the problem is, isn't it the name of, of, of the character from in Batman vs. Superman? Is it? Is that the name of the of the of the of the general character who's watching Manhunter? Maybe I don't know all about Martian Manhunter. Just you know. No wait, no, no wait, no. I think that's the name of the actor, Harry, Harry, fucking uh, whoop, what is it? Uh, fuck, what's the name of the? Mhm. Da 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 da. Are you looking it up right now? I'm looking up. The, I I'm pretty sure it's the name of the actor. Or Harry? Oh no, no! His name is Harry Linux. Okay, Linux. Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. Yeah. So Harry Wrinkler has a magic orb, and he uses to spy on a fourteen-year-old Japanese schoolgirl. God, he just acts so creepy during that. I don't understand. He, I don't understand his character. It's so fucking weird how he's just fucking. Literally, this episode is him just fucking stalking a Japanese schoolgirl. Yeah, Holy it's shit. really bad, dude. I don't know what his deal is. And, like, you can see, I guess he has magic, but it's just really weird. I'm like, what does this add to anything? And, like, even then later on, it's just, like, nothing happens. Right? Hey, hey hold on. Hey, cut to, cut to, uh, uh hey, hey, cut to, cut to the subtitle at, uh, fuck. Uh-oh, oh, where, where is it? Oh, oh, hold on. Cut to the subtitle at 555 real quick. All right. We see this weird middle-aged man talking about a Japanese school, 14-year-old Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> what am I looking at for the subtitle here? Oh, yeah. Uh, are you there yet? I'm at 555, yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't see that subtitle? What, the she sure was cute? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, is that, is that, is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh no, his name is Her- is Henry Rakuchen, or whatever the fuck. Or oh, wait, did that did that, did that what you're saying? That's where he showed his name. Oh no, no, I'm looking at the Wikipedia. His name is Henry Rakuchen. I keep thinking, I think it's, I keep thinking, I don't know why I think it's Winkler for some reason. Don't know where, don't know where that came from. I mean, you know, what? it's okay. You, we're gonna see, we're not gonna see him anymore after episode seven, apparently. So okay, uh, if all, if only that, if only we're covering post episode seven is the problem. <laughs> yeah, so Toma Toma's a baby now. He's scared. He's like, oh boy, I'm a scaredy cat. Oh no, oh no, I don't want there. I I I don't want to be at the Capitol Hill on January <laughs> 6, 2021. Don't take me there, right? <laughs> Jesus fuck, dude. <laughs> also, like, for, first hinting at like fucking her powers, and she's le- 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 legit just what, what was it? A jump cut is what you call it? Mm hmm. Yeah, she just jump cuts out of her way, and then this guy just creepily looking at her. And then they start yeah, running it's... off back to the jo- dojo, and then, you know, then we go back to the next thing. But uh, anyway, I'm done talking about the people for now, honestly. Yeah, but, mm-hmm, for now. For yeah, now. so yeah, so, so Toho's, a, to- to- Toho's a baby now. He He's scared. He, he's, he's scared of life. He's scared of living. He's and then, then the grandfather give, gives plot ex- explanation about about Chung Kung Fu. You know, the the, the Hong Kong ninja from Hong Kong. In, in case you want to know about Chung God, Kung dude, Fu. That's just... Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, 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 can, you, you can do whatever. You can set yourself a note Chung if you want. Chung did edit it out, <laughs> as some would say. Oh, my God. That's great. Fucking... Oh, Jesus, though. Yeah, so the grandfather gives backstory about Chung Kung Fu and everything about about what a about what, about what a strong opponent he is, right? And then mm-hmm. Tomo's a little bitch baby now. Yeah. But uh, Kay, it's like I was like, oh no, Tomo's a Tomo's a little baby now. So I will go in your place, and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, fucking hell, fucking um, sorry. So fucking like, I mean, they're at the dojo, right? And they just find out yeah. he's a baby, and then, uh, they, they really, okay, so here's the thing I want to talk about. They really treated him like shit, right? That wasn't just me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're really, this like, girl is really going hard on him. Yeah, I don't understand right? why she's like that, man. Like, it's just like the harshest shit. I don't know why he's being such a dick. <laughs> like, this guy does everything for you, and then because he's like, like, it's obvious that he's been waylaid by some kind of, um, Ninja art, and you're still calling him a little bit like Jesus, fuck, dude. 
Like, have some sympathy yeah, no. or empathy. Like, good <laughs> God. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. According to this, Toa is adopted into the family, and he's not actually blood-related to everyone. No, yeah. He it's... was adopted by the grandfather. No, yeah, apparently. no, no, yeah. They said it in the first episode. I remember oh, this. Oh, okay, distinctly. I don't remember that. So I forgot about it. Remember... Right? It's, it's been a while, okay, right? So... Hey, wait, it's been a while since the 2020 Tokyo Olympics started, right? I'm still mesmerized by the opening ceremony, you know? <laughs> right? That was a good opening ceremony. Uh-huh. Right? Some would say. Say. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so basically, she pretty much pulls a, uh, an evil stepsister on Toa, just fucking rallying in on him for no reason. Yeah, I'm just like, the thing is, it, and then the, they try to make it seem okay by the end of it. I mean, no, I know I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but I kind of just have to talk about it. They try to make it seem mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, I believe them in Toho this whole time. And they gave, they, uh, they gave a really weird vibe, right? Well, maybe not weird vibe, yeah. but they gave a uh, they gave a vibe right between the two. Did, wh- what was the vibe you were getting between the two when you when you're like, oh yeah, here, when she's like, oh yeah, here, take these jewels, do this and do that, get your paycheck, shit, you know, all that crap. Like, um, did did he get like, and then he's like, oh yeah, sure, okay, sure, whatever, I'm just gonna ignore whatever the fuck you said. No, I don't. No, hold on, I'm not for that far ahead. We'll get there when we get there. No, yeah, I was just okay. Well, we'll talk about the weird vibe later, then I guess. Yeah, okay. But yeah. I want to put. Yeah, so a, basically, to, 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 to over here is everyone calling him a little bitch, and like, hey, he's sad boys. Then we cut back to our villain, who, as they speak, has a search, has a stage like follow them, which is insane. That someone has, that means someone is manually following the main villain with a with a stage light as he walks, right? Oh, was that what? Oh, for, oh no, yeah, 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 right, you're right, you're right, you're right, Jesus. As he enters it to see, where he talks to the female ninja who's, who's like, I don't, like I said, I'm not remembering any of these fucking characters, they have so many fucking characters, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as he walking, he's, he's talking about a little boy, he's like, well, uh, you got your stupid jewels and everything, you know, right? Mm-hmm. And then, um... Sorry, I'm just I lost my train. Uh, where, where, where were we again? Please, they uh, the we're, okay, yeah. So, so basically, they they talk about their evil plan. Um, then we cut to the grandfather sending. Okay, I okay, I stand corrected. She's not she's not fourteen. She's sixteen. Sending his sixteen year old granddaughter. I don't think that makes his, it better. So okay, well, whatever. So basically, the grandfather is sending his sixteen year old granddaughter and nine year old grandson to go fight an experienced killer to get back a piece of wood that they could have went to the fucking Home Depot to get replaced. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty irresponsible of the guy, honestly. Like... Yeah, and 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 and, and, then, and, and then and then we get and then we get Mr. Stranger Danger, who's once again chasing after a sixteen-year-old high school girl, making really making really questionable comments that I shall report to the proper authorities to, you know, right? Uh huh. Like, oh boy, I don't like what you're saying. I don't like how you're describing this fourteen-year-old. I mean, this sixteen-year-old Japanese schoolgirl, you know. Like, oh, like, I should call yeah. someone about this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty... <laughs> Jesus, fuck, dude. But, um... Yeah, that guy, he's just really creeping on her. He's just stalking her ever, following her and shit. And then you have the whole fight that happens, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where yeah. they basically go away, like, oh, there's a sign, but then the sign burns, and then, oh, no, it's, um, it's, it's, uh... It's, it's, it's all a trap. It's all a trap. Then you have, like, this middle-aged woman comes out to declaring to fight on a 16-year-old girl and this 9-year-old kid, right? Yeah, I it's mean... So fun- how she literally says, like, these fucking... these killer tango birds after them. It's just so fucking... Like, wow, you guys are really struggling against this 19-year-old girl. I mean, this 16-year-old girl yeah. and whatnot. <sighs> He's a little tired, but fucking yeah, this is just fucking rough. Like, I mean, they have all they're just like, they're all trying to basically kill these kids. It's just like, guys, the kids. Just yeah, chill. one of them is a nine-year-old child. First of all, right? yeah, I mean, like, guys, come on, what are you get, what are you doing? <laughs> It's like you're, you're, you're probably using gonna a- defeat them by telling them about Fortnite and say, like, "Hey, I got Fortnite on my phone. You guys want to give up?" Jesus Christ! You kids love the Fortnite. You into the TikToks? Oh my God! Right? You you guys want to do? You guys want to make the TikTok? Right? 
the 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 the, the talk tick this is, is what the hip this, kids this like is, to say. You're just making this so much worse. Good, good lord. Hey, hey, hey! You guys want a Zell? <laughs> hey, you guys have Zell? You guys have Zella? I'll Zell you some cash. Oh my God! What? <laughs> Why? What are you? No! No one's gonna get that joke. That's the best part. Why did you bring that back? There's no reason. There's no reason. Hey, <laughs> it's only you and me. It's only you and me. I'm gonna get it. I don't understand why you do that. God. <laughs> <laughs> great, now I'm coffee too. That's fucking great. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like, oh I don't. God. I don't. No. That's, no. That's a bad joke. Holy shit. No one else is gonna get this. It's just such an inside joke. Like, what the fuck? If we ever get, if we ever get, if we ever make t-shirts, I just wanna have a t-shirt that starts like, hey, you want a Zell? <laughs> Stop it! I was, I was in the middle you. of a drink. I was in the middle of a drink during that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, so the birds. So Toha is getting his ass kicked by the grandfather, who's trying to reinstate his courage into him and everything. Don't give a fuck about that. And then the kids get chased to this bridge by the birds and every and everything. Mm -hmm. And I assume at this point, this is very, this is very uh. And then the uh K gets knocked down. On the bridge, like she's hanging on for her dear life on the bridge and everything, you know. Oh boy, we got you, we got you, and everything. Mm. But don't worry, they 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 break their they break their way out. They they break their way out, and they outsmarted the two birds. Get outsmarted by a sixteen and nine year old kid. Yeah, like, damn, they mm. got us. Yeah, yeah I mean, they got us. Yeah, how 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 complicated. Yeah. Okay. So the kid finds the stupid board, but then it turns out it was booby trap and everything. Uh. And it mm. turns out it was booby traps. And then once again, once again, it takes two people to outsmart a 16 and 9 year old kid, apparently. <sighs> yeah, honestly. They're just having trouble. Like, this is a 9 year old kid. Why do you guys have so much trouble? You're full grown yeah. adults. Mm -hmm. So they get kicked out. And once again, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh, Bad Punch <clears throat> follows, is following them. And he, and he does absolutely nothing about it. He 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 watches as a nine-year-old and sixteen-year-old kid gets kidnapped by two grown adults in ninja costumes. Yeah, like, and it's just like it's not until like they're tied up and shit that he decides to do anything. And even then, she just kind of runs off to find he just help. Runs away and everything. But don't worry, there's a bird that that comes in and like, oh, oh boy, God. hey, oh. That's also what. Hey, hey, bird. That's also what's annoying too, because like they send a bird to kind of send a message, like, oh yeah, we've been kidnapped and shit, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, um, so, I mean, like, during this, like, you know, Toha's, like, and his grand his grandfather's, like, helping him find the will to fight again and shit, right? Yeah, right? The problem is, right, the fact that there's no way they could have wrote that message when they were tied up, right? That means that the kid, that I preemptively wrote that message just uh, in case no, they get kidnapped. No, yeah, it was the sister that, like, had that pre-written, and it's just like, wow. Yeah, like, it's... Whatever. That's my point. Still stands either way. It's true. Right? That's true. Yeah. It's just like they plan. Right? They they planned like to get get captured or some shit. You know, they planned for it just in case they got captured and fucking like. Okay, sure. I guess they yeah, weren't confident. Like, uh, like once again, it turns out sending a nine year old and sixteen year old kids <laughs> to go fight two middle age adults. Yeah. With ninja and killing experience, not the smartest idea. Right? Yeah, I'm just like this is like not like you got you guys knew this was a possibility. This is like uh, at the very least you you should have been like, like this was the most likely like what the literally the most like like so the best outcome was for them not to get killed right yeah. that was the best outcome. For them. Yeah, I mean, like, right. what if they just, like, I mean, these guys were intent on, like, fucking your day up. What if they just didn't tie you up, man? What if they just decided to just kill you and throw you off the fucking falls and shit, man? Yeah. Yeah, so the note comes back to the grandpa. He reads out the note. Toa then, all of a sudden, <laughs> gains his fighting spirit after, like, oh, no, my 16-year-old sister who calls me a fucking loser, who calls me a fucking loser is in danger. I gotta go save her now. 
Yeah, and then it's just like he runs off. Oh yeah, but before that though, we get we get we 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 get Mister No Touch. You said right? Looking, you get Mister No Touch coming in, and then it's like he he runs in looking for help. He basically runs into the fucking dojo, and then Jedi just runs past him, and he's and he's like, mm-hmm. "What was that?" And then that's the last you see of his character. I'm like, "What was yeah. the point of your character?" What was the point of it? It makes no fucking sense. Like I would have liked it better if his character was a fucking uh, 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 a fucking a fuck. Did the character in in the story of the the sheep and the wolf ever had a name? Was there? So so you know what happened the sheep and the wolf, right? There Uh was the kid who was like, hey hey, there's a wolf. Hey everyone, tells people come come get it, and then turns out that there was no wolf. Oh yeah, the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. yeah, the boy there going. I'll start naming the name of the story. I would have liked it better if his character was the boy who cried wolf, right? Like he sees the actions, right? Uh-huh. Like he sees this shit. He goes get the proper authorities, right? And by the time they come back, there's no one there. I would have <laughs> like as a comic, that would have been way better. Like, it really would have been. Pretty much, he should have been a Candace. Like that's like the easiest <laughs> analogy I can think of the top of my head, right? Honestly, Candace, yeah, that would have been great. Verb. That would have been like, really like, good. That would have made his character way more likable instead of making like this weird fucking middle-aged guy that chases around 16-year-old schoolgirls, right? Yeah, and it's just like, like, like you're trying to make give him some use, but in the end, Bird does it for him, and so it's like, what's the point? What's the point of this guy's <laughs> character, man? He just walks around it's and he's really, just like, he's just there. I don't understand his fucking character whatsoever. Yeah, so, so Jiraiya comes in and, and, he, and, he, and he fucking just saved the kids out. And he just fucking snipes a bird in his back. Holy oh, <laughs> fucking just shoots him in the back. Yeah, fucking just right? tosses like, the shuriken and just like, he's uh, like, oh. He should have used the sacred ninja art of gun. Right? <laughs> Honestly. If, like, no one saw him. He had, if he had a gun, they would all be dead. But, the, yeah. uh, but you know, it's ninja, so I guess we have to have that. Um, yeah, so he comes in and everything to, to free his, to free them and everything. Right? Mm-hmm. But but don't but 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 don't worry. Uh, Master Chung Fu, uh, fucking burns him, burns God, him, burns dude. him at the top of the base, and he and you get this just this fucking great fucking CG thing of like this weird fire effect, right? Like yeah, this uh-huh. fucking fire. I love this. God, this shit is so. This is just nineties bad of like nineties CG. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad when it's over his hands, but when he's tossing that shit, it's just like fucking yeah. Yeah, it's not that great. And then, and you see, then as it falls down the water, yeah, because it takes the right? shape of a person, and he just falls down into the water, and the fo- the fire spreads. Like, wow, this is this is an so effect, isn't great. it? That's this 90s. Is 90s. This is peak nineties CG animation. Holy shit! Honestly, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. But then and, it's and like, then it turns out to be a log. The worst was the value, how they run up to it just to verify it's a log. It's like, but, uh, like they couldn't tell. Like what's that in the wind in, in the lake? Is that the body of the guy we just burned down, or is that a log? Guess we gotta <laughs> run up to it and find out, right? And the yeah. worst was how would they run it up to it? They're like, damn, like like, like how fucking. Like how shocked they were at that fact that was a lot. Yeah, I'm like, you're gonna see it from a distance, guys. Come on. <laughs> but then I guess like you know Jedi and then um what was her what what did they call her Princess uh, what? Okay, or Princess Princess Emil- Emilia and um, Emil whatever the fuck you want to call. I don't her. know. Does, uh, as, uh, Emilia is best girl, right? Princess. <laughs> Pr- right? Princess yeah, Ninja, or whatever. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, don't worry, hey, don't worry. Hey, Emilia is best girl, so that doesn't matter. All right. Uh huh. But anyway, they're basically fucking fighting and shit, and you get Jedi basically fighting the fire, uh, the fire dude. You get a yeah, whole bunch of yeah, Chung Fu, you know. Yeah, Chung right? Fu. Like, oh yeah. boy. And then and then and then and then, and then don't worry, Jiraiya's biggest weakness: stationary fire. You know. <laughs> oh boy, what am I gonna do with all this stationary fire? Yeah. Damn, he's station or, or they're pretty far away from me, but still, they got me. Yeah, and then because of stationary fire, then he gets caught by the chain and shit, and then he's like, oh, I'm going to use the same technique to weaken your fucking uh, spirit again. Yeah, once again, it's really funny how the worst part is the fire that's in between these shots. It's like the same fire shot. It's like, it's not like a different, it's like the exact same fire shot they, they just plastered over the footage, right? Yeah, yeah, they just put another image over it and then have it run, and then it's just like, oh, well, yeah, okay. What, they just loop the same fire image, oh, it's just fucking great, you know? Yeah, uh-huh. Right. And then yeah, fucking... But Toa, but Toa pulls the, the, literally pulls an Uno reverse card and does it on, and does a no you, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. He literally Uno reverse him. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> yeah, it's basically an Uno reverse card, and then uh, I guess he and like. And then he just slashes the guy. He just straight up cuts him. He's like, all he literally cuts him. He cuts him in the middle, and then he cuts him in half. Jesus Christ! You think you think you think cutting him down from his head to his body would be good enough? But no, cut him in half just in case. Yeah, right? and then um, fucking after he, I mean, no, but you know, he 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 blows up into a million pieces or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And then you know they basically uh, for I mean they they get they gang up on the last on the last ninja, right? And then oh, for yeah, some, once again, gang tactics, you know. Yeah, but One then for the some best, reason, the best. For, yeah, but then for some reason, don't kill her. They don't just don't kill yeah, her. Yeah, they're like, they're like, I don't know, just return the stolen jewels. You know, that's all we came for. This uh, this piece of this piece of of cardboard we could have gone at at Home Depot and the jewels, right? Yeah, it's just like for some reason the other guy had to die, but she didn't have to. So I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah. Fucking, mm-hmm. but yeah, this is this is the this is the the, the point where like. Um, okay, I'm at that part now where she tells him to to fucking return the jewels and pick up the paycheck. Yeah, and it's just like it, <clears throat> and it's like basically he's like, okay, come. So she's being all demanding and shit like she was beforehand. I'm like, oh wow, really? No apology, huh? Also, but mm-hmm. then there's like that weird thing, like that thing, like, oh yeah, I'm really glad you reawakened. Like, okay, is this a romance subplot? Is this what's going on? Just because you're not related. No, just, no I think she's just be like, okay, I'm glad you're not being useless now. No, yeah, even sure. Still... But it's like, it's, it's like, I think I've seen too much anime. But like, to be fair, okay, but well, to be okay, honest, I don't know what, I don't know what type of anime that, I don't know what type of anime that that you watch in your fate. All right. Okay. You know, you should probably well, stay in okay, the night. I swear to God, all right. I don't like how you worked that in. How did you work? No, I don't like that at all. What the. <laughs> What? Hey, 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 you should bring it down to zero, all right? <laughs> you all right? God damn it. Oh hey, I God. don't want to reach this unlimited plane works oh, with you, all okay. right? Okay, no, now that's stretching it. That's stretching it. That's hey, fucking hey, stretching it. Hey, hey, that is a grand order for you to ask me to bring it down, <laughs> okay, all right? that's better. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> but, hey, 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 if you want to keep going down this this, this rabbit hole, we will soon reach an apocrypha, all right, <laughs> about this, okay? <laughs> God. Okay. Okay, we're done now. We're fucking... Yeah, I mean... He returns the jewels, and then I guess he somehow, despite working there, triggers the alarm? I guess? Yeah. You know, and then he has to run off. I mean, it's a bit of a funny yeah, ending. I, to, I mean, I, mm-hmm. I don't mind Some it. Some would like, say it is, it is the case file of Lord L. M- what? Melio II, okay. all right? Stretching, 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 <laughs> stretching. But yeah, I mean, that's basically... <laughs> fuck. That's the end of it, and then... uh. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, that's the end of this episode. I guess, you know. Horrible. I think this is probably my least favorite episode I've seen so far, I mean, right? no, okay, it's, th- no, you see, here's the thing. It's not like, it's your, it's, it's your least favorite showing of a character. That's what I think mm-hmm. it is, because I don't like the Henry guy. Like, I'm fine yeah, with the rest it's of the really episode. really bad, he's really fucking bad, right? Yeah, like, everything else in the no, episode's it- fine. It's just this guy just, like... He comes in and disrupts the flow of things, and he doesn't do or do or add anything to the plot or like to to his progression. He's there as a comedic relief, but his comedy just isn't good and doesn't work at all. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, and it's just like, and also he's he's a creep, and it's just like, ugh. This yeah, is... yeah, he's, he's creepy. He's creepy on young Japanese schoolgirls, and you know, right? Yeah, and it's just like, okay, well, then what's the point of you? Like, why are you here? You're just like the most terrible shit, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't really don't like this fucking character. I mean, I mean to be fair, the other characters are also pretty fucking bad as well. Yeah. Right. Like K yeah. is a complete cunt. Right. The yeah. grandfather is pretty terrible for letting his for letting a sixteen year old and nine year old kid go back get a mm-hmm. piece of plywood. You know. Yeah. Right. Like Toa's uh-huh. uh, character is fine. You know. Like it's an actual character progression that he has to go through. Like, yeah. oh boy, I lost my courage. You know, gotta get, gotta gain it back. Right. His character is fine, but everyone else in the family pretty fucking terrible. They just Except really the rag kid. on him in the most horrible way. I'm like, this yeah. guy doesn't like, the deserve it. The nine year old kid it. isn't terrible because because he doesn't really do anything because he's a nine year old kid. Yeah. Right. So I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 so, so I won't I, I won't go too hard on the nine year old kid. But the fair. grandfather and Kay are pretty fucking yeah. terrible. I mean, especially, like, with Toha, like, he does, every, like, from, like, from what she says, like, oh, he cleans, he cooks, he just takes care, he, like, he does everything and he in the works, house. And he works, as well. Yeah, They're and he's talking, doing this a part-time job. a lot of shit. 
yeah. for a person who doesn't do anything. Yeah, on top right? of his training, too, and him having to defend the tablet. I'm like, hey, this guy's doing everything, and you're ragging on him? Yeah, and, really? and, 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 in, and in, in your first fight, you get kidnapped like an idiot. Dumb bitch. God, I'm just so annoyed at these kids. Like, no, no apology. Like, we get that she kind of like she like she likes Toha, but like, that doesn't excuse your fucking like actions, dude. Like, it's just like horrible. Apologize, dude. It's like he, that's the least yeah, you can fucking, do. Yeah, God, this character is such a fucking bitch. God, like Toha kind of just takes it, and in a way, I kind of respect him for it. But it's just like, mm-hmm. oh God, this guy deserves better. He really yeah, does. It's, it's really bad. Yeah. Right. Anyway, mm-hmm. that's the rant, I guess. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, I think that's it for this week's episode, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. All right um, like I said, we're, oh, we're only recording a few of these. Uh, this is not going to be like a mainstay thing. So so tune in next week for the exciting conclusion of this mini series. This mini arc, where the fuck you want to call it. Hey, find out what happens next time in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Next next episode, we talk about the closing ceremony and how many people have died in Japan because of coronavirus, all right? Jesus. Only 2% have been vaccinated, according to the latest data, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it got so bad right there. All right, there we go. All right, that's it. That's this week's episode. <laughs> All right, that's how we're ending it on it. All right, hey, hey, st- hey, stay tuned next week as we talk about inflation. Do you, do you uh, think? Um, um, do you, hold on. Do you think? Do you think Japan will sell the Zelda victims for compensation? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the the Zelda of compensation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. Alright, that's it. Fuck you. Okay, goddammit. Fuck, I hate, I hate this. I hate this. Coronavirus is so thing. Wash your hands, wear a mask, get your fucking shots. Okay, thanks. Bye.